Funny how the story goes, little hope of bigger dreams. Uh, they try to bring the sucker down, singing louder than the crowd. and welcome back to my channel welcome if you are new in today's video I've got lots of clean and motivation for you guys we had a really busy week and we've been on the go a lot things were spiraling out of control with the house it was also a nasty rainy day out and I wasn't feeling motivated at all but I really needed to get up and take some time today to get some stuff done I didn't get everything done in one day I had to just break it up over about two days um, so today I'm just taking a couple of hours to focus on my bathroom and my bedroom my bedroom was awful wait till you guys see um, my dresser was also broken so I had to fix that but I hope y'all enjoyed today's video and get all the motivation you need Before we get too far into the video, I wanted to take a minute and share this week's grocery haul with you guys and to thank Hungry Root for sponsoring today's video. Y'all have seen me order groceries from Hungry Root a few times now. It's become my go-to online grocery delivery. I've mentioned before that we don't have grocery delivery where we live. I have to drive a good 25 30 minutes to do my pickup orders and I'm so grateful for grocery pickup but I also appreciate having online grocery delivery services like Hungry Root that I can have shipped right to my door so Hungry Root makes it really easy to eat healthy you just tell them a little bit about yourself by taking a short quiz on how you like to eat any dietary needs or goals that you have and Hungry Root recommends the groceries and the recipes tailored to how you like to eat or you can choose exactly what you want in your box. Hungry Root will send your personalized groceries with easy 10 minute recipes right to your doorstep along with healthy snacks and other pantry staples all with ingredients that you can trust. You can use the groceries however you want by mixing and matching with what you already have in your fridge or you can go by the recipes they send. My favorite thing about Hungry Root is the meal plan. I don't have to think about the meal plan because it's already done for me. So there is no prepping or planning involved. Summer is gonna be really busy for us. So I love that about Hungry Root. They offer a wide variety of options for all diets with over 2,000 recipes to discover. And the more you shop and cook with Hungry Root, the more personalized the recommendations become. The first 100 people to use my code Kelly's Corner 40 will get 40% off your first grocery order with Hungry Root. Use the link in the description box and use code Kelly's Corner 40 to get 40% off. Again, thank you to Hungry Root for sponsoring this video. Spinning in circles, we're fighting for days 
this little diffuser I got a couple of weeks ago for my car. I thought it was a portable cordless diffuser for the car. I had been looking for one and so that's the reason I originally had purchased it. But no, you have to plug it in and I was going to return it. Um, but it actually works out perfect here in the bathroom because it is slim. It doesn't take up a lot of room on um, the counter. We don't have a lot of space here. And so I just decided to keep it. But you guys just saw me take the kids rinse cups out of here. I'm going to hand wash those in the sink later. Um, somehow those get so nasty and cruddy. So I really wanted to take the time to wash those today and get them all clean and fresh again. And I do get questions about those little cups. It's actually a toothpaste dispenser set. It comes with the little dispenser and the four rinse cups. It came from the Timmy app and the last time I looked and tried to find a link I could not find it so I don't know if it's just out of stock right now but I'll keep looking but they do have similar ones on the Timu app but that's where it came from I just wanted to let you guys know for those who have been asking about it a minute to straighten up this little cart that I've got here by the toilet. This holds all of my products basically. I don't have room under the sink to put anything like this so I just keep it here on this cart. There were a few products I was able to toss in the trash um, that I just don't use and haven't used in a long time so I tossed those and that made some room. I get a lot of questions about the bathtub and how it's been holding up since I painted it probably two years ago now. I bought a kit, I think it's the Rust-Oleum kit off Amazon and I painted it. The tub is plastic so I really didn't know how it was going to hold up long term but so far it's held up really great. The only places that it's been chipping is around the drain area where water sometimes will just sit and also around the edge of the tub where it meets the wall. I've noticed it's chipping there a little bit, but they do sell the repair kits where you can go in and do like patchwork on places like that. So I might have to do that, but I do have a bathtub coming up where I'm gonna be doing basically the same thing, but I'm gonna use a different kit. It's supposed to be odorless. Y'all remember when I did this bathtub, I was talking about how bad the odor was. It was awful. So I found a new kit that is supposed to be odorless. So I'll let you guys know how that goes, um, but I'll be filming a video on that and everything.
ahead and refill our dish soap for the week. We had a new bottle that got delivered today and it was perfect timing because our glass bottle here had just ran out. So I'm gonna refill that. Um, but we like to get the Dawn antibacterial from Sam's. We just order it and it gets shipped to us. And it usually will last us a pretty good long time. We just keep refilling our glass bottle. By the way, I did a full like Sam's Club shop with me and grocery haul and all of that. I posted that last Sunday. So if you haven't seen that, I'll link that down below. I don't even want to admit how long it's been since I've cleaned my makeup brushes and I got this little silicone pad from the Target dollar spot. So I just put a little bit of dish soap on there, wet the brush and just kind of swirled it around on there and so much makeup was coming out of my brushes. So I'm gonna do all of those and then I'll just let them air dry. Moving into this disaster of a bedroom, I mentioned earlier that my dresser is broken. One of the drawers, like the bottom has popped out. So I've got to take the back off of that drawer and get the bottom of it slid back in there. Um, but right now I haven't been able to really put clothes away because the drawer won't hold anything. So I gotta get that fixed. This first basket of laundry is pretty much just swimsuits and towels. We had gone to the beach the day before I filmed this and so when we got home I just tossed everything into the washer. So that's what this first load is, is just towels and swimsuits. And then this other basket is just our regular clothes I need to get put away. Some of it was folded, some had not been folded yet. So um, I'm gonna get all that put away and get that drawer fixed so I can put the rest of our stuff away.
So the bottom of this drawer had been popping out for a while. Before we had got these organizational bins, the drawers were just being overfilled and causing the bottom here to pop out. And I never really took the time to correctly put it back in the right way. So unfortunately it kept popping out. So I went ahead and took the back off today and got it slid back in there. And hopefully it'll stay this time. But that's another reason I really love these drawer organizers. It keeps us from overfilling the drawers. Yorkie will sometimes get tissue paper and she'll bring it in here to this white rug and it blends in so I always like to shake it out. We're constantly having to keep things picked up because if it's on her level she's going to chew on it. Any little toys the kids leave laying around you can guarantee they're going to be chewed up so we have to stay on top of keeping things picked up off the floor but I also wanted to run the steam mop in here really quick. I don't always mop in my room but I do like to do it as needed and I felt like today it just needed it so I'm gonna do that really quick. Also stay tuned because I'll show you guys a quick before of what my room looked like before I cleaned it and what it looked like after. I know I like to see before and afters anytime I'm watching a cleaning video because it's just so satisfying to see. It is a new day and I'm moving here into the kitchen. I wanted to take just a minute or two to straighten up this cabinet. We had it pretty organized and straightened up at the beginning of the year, but it's kind of getting a little disorganized. So I wanted to take just a minute to straighten that up. I knew it would not take me long at all. And while I was taking everything out, I noticed there were a few crumbs and just debris that gets collected over time in the cabinet. So I wanted to take my handheld and just quickly vacuum that out and then I'll put everything back nice and neat. We didn't have anything that we really needed to declutter. It was just things that needed to be straightened up. And I think total this only took me about two minutes from start to finish. So let that motivate you. If you have a task in your home that you have been putting off, think about how long it would actually take you to complete. You might be surprised.
something else that I wanted to take care of today is this bread box. So we don't actually use it for bread. We used to, but we just found that we weren't really using it to put our bread in and it was just sitting there. So one of you guys had actually gave me the idea to use it to put electronic devices in. So we kind of made a little charging station out of it. I just drilled some holes in the back and ran the cords through. So that way we didn't have tablets and cords just sitting out on the counter. It's kind of collected several cords that we just don't need in here and some other like random miscellaneous things that have got thrown in here. And it's kind of became a pain to plug anything in because everything is just tangled. So I wanted to take a minute to untangle that, clean it out. But this was another area that I had been putting off and it did not take me more than two minutes to do. As I was recording this, I was trying to hide the new coffee bar. I didn't know what order these videos were going to go up in and I didn't want to show it in this video if the coffee bar video itself hadn't went up yet. So I was trying to hide that, but I did post that on Friday. So if you haven't seen that, make sure to check it out. It turned out really good, I think. I'm so glad that we have it done because it holds all of our coffee stuff and it gave us so much more room in our kitchen. We were able to use the old coffee bar to put some of our appliances on that were sitting on the counter so it really gave us a lot of room but it's just so cozy and country and I love making my coffee in the mornings not that I didn't love it before but I just love it that much more room I want to take care of today is the living room just do a quick little cleanup in here I also needed to take the couch covers off today my kids had got red popsicle on the cover so I needed to take those off and get them washed I won't get them put back on today but I just wanted to at least get them off and washed and I'll put them back on another day um, but after this I'm gonna go ahead and get the floors vacuumed and mopped also stay tuned because at the very end I will be sharing with you guys my homemade pimento cheese recipe. It's actually my mom's recipe but a lot of you were asking me in my Sam's Club video if I would share because I had mentioned that we like to make our own pimento cheese and it is really really easy so make sure to stay tuned for that. me 
keep thinking Was I wasting my time Letting you into my life You brought out the best in me We had everything we needed You put me aside and turned out the lights is just some shout stain remover I'm using to spray all of those popsicle stains and also any other stains that I see and I'm just gonna toss the covers right into the wash and I'm always getting comments about how our couches look better without the couch covers and honestly I like them better without the couch covers too but kids and pets it just makes keeping the couches clean a little bit easier because if something does get spilt on the couch like for instance this red popsicle I can just take the covers off and wash them and put them back on and it keeps the couches clean always getting questions about my vacuum and what kind it is this is the Eureka cordless vacuum you can find it on Amazon I have had mine for three years now maybe a little bit less but it's been a great great vacuum um, I wouldn't suggest it for like really shaggy carpet if you have very shallow carpet I think it would work fine but it does really great on hard floors and it also comes apart and you can put different attachments on so if you want to convert it to a handheld you can I use it in my car a lot as well but I will put a link to this vacuum down below I think I always have a link down there but if not I will add a link for you guys So let's go ahead and make some homemade pimento cheese. I've got about two cups here of shredded Colby Jack. This is the block of cheese that we shredded ourselves. It's much better if you can do that, but you can also use the bagged pre-shredded kind if you would like. Um, so there are many recipes for this. Some people add cream cheese and garlic powder, but we keep it really simple. We just use mayonnaise and pimentos. That is it. Only three ingredients. And this is a four ounce jar of pimentos. You want to make sure to drain those. But as far as the mayonnaise, we don't really measure that. We start small and then just add it until we get what we think it needs. You can add salt and pepper if you think it needs it, but to us, it doesn't need any of that. Just these three ingredients and it's delicious. We eat it a lot on crackers. Um, we'll eat it as a sandwich. We even like to make grilled cheese with it. It's just so, so good. And it's one of my favorite things. I've always loved pimento cheese, but once we started making it homemade, I have not liked the store-bought kind anymore. So 
definitely give this a try. But that is going to complete this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and got tons of motivation. Remember to leave your butterfly emoji down below if you're still watching. And also remember if you want to check out Hungry Root that the first 100 people to use my code Kelly's Corner 40 will get 40% off your first grocery order with Hungry Root. So use the link in the description box and use code Kelly's Corner 40 and you'll get 40% off. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.